Dude, we're gonna explode his melons. Oh, baby. I got a bad feeling about this. Welcome back to another Scramble Craft episode, everybody. My name's Kraken Kid, and it's my birthday today. Cody and Mike have not given me a gift yet, so I'm kind of mad at them. They haven't even said happy birthday. And it's very rude of them. I've already recorded two videos with them, and they didn't even say happy birthday. What is wrong with them? First, they leave me and go to Miami without me last week, and then, then now they forget my birthday. It's not okay. But, uh, guys, I've been doing a little bit of research, specifically on the fun mod. And I have discovered a few things that have caught my attention. A few things that make it so we really need to double down and try to get the items before Cody, before Mike, before anybody. Especially Baby Blooper. If he comes on and starts recording, man, we need to make sure we have this. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready to see what I have discovered? So, I was looking at all the items over here, and yeah, there's some really cool stuff, really high attack damage, uh, weapons, etc, etc. And then I started look like, Elder Sword, right there, 70 attack damage. I started looking a little closer at the armor sets, trying to figure out which one was the best, and like, Starborn over here gives you 5 max health for each piece. Just look at the defensive bonuses on that, plus 2 attack damage. It's like, okay, that's cool. Void is even better. And, you know, then you get the dark stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then I go to the second page, and then I notice this stuff. The hell steel, no, not the hell steel, sorry. The shaper helmets. Plus 25% max health. 7 attack damage. 21 armor. 22 toughness. And then you go to the elder. 10 health per piece. So that's a total of 40 health you can get. Bonus, okay? If you have the entire thing and each piece gives 20% attack bonus. That would be 80% attack damage bonus. That's insane. <clears throat> and then I thought it couldn't get any better. Thought it could not get any better until I found this item right here. The Tabula Rasa grants 65 max health bonus. 65 that is literally insane and the crazy part about this is that's just the chest piece there is not a full tabula armor set so what i was thinking is like the end all be all the best thing i could do would be to get this and then for the chest plate and then the boots from the elder stuff the legs from the elder stuff and the helmet from the elder stuff that is what I think I got. Oh my gosh, I gotta go to sleep. Cody better be sleeping. Oh man, stupid phantoms. And then things get even crazier after this. So as soon as I'm getting rid of these phantoms. All right, that's better. So that was my plan. And then you can, it gets even crazier. So there's this item that you can hold. Where did it go? Right here. The shadow orb. You lose 15 max health. Which sounds like a lot, but then you also get bonus plus 50% max health. So if I have like 100 health from all these different bonuses, I'm going to lose 15. <clears throat> but then I'm going to gain half of everything else that I have back. So you should be able to stack. I mean, like, it's going to get crazy. I think you can have like 10 rows of hearts on this game. Specifically because we also have... Well, we should, we should go do that because apparently I lost my infusions once again. Did I put them in here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, good. I probably should not have left that there for anybody to just come steal. But we have these infusions. Bro! Oh my gosh! No, 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 no! This is good. This is good. He could drop me some warped armor. What? Did, did we get any? Oh, we did not. We just got a potato and a composite. But those guys actually drop power armor, which is extremely overpowered as well. And speaking of that... Oh. I have something I wanted to build today using a piece of warped power armor that I have acquired. We will do that momentarily. But first, I need to put my infusions back in because every once in a while, these infusions just go away, man. I don't understand it. So I can use these to get up to three rows of hearts. So I believe we already have like 60 health because I believe it's like uh, two health per heart. 
So, hey, I will take that. <laughs> and we're just going to get crazier and crazier throughout this series, I am sure. All right, we got to mine this up and uh, keep it safe. Don't need Cody or Mike getting their hands on that. That's for sure. All right, so let's see what I was talking about about the warped armor. So, you know what I want from the fun mod. It's no secret, but from the Gobber mod, there's an item called the Defender. Provides a steady health regen and eliminates many annoying hostile mobs. Block range 32. And I went to check out the recipe for it. And I'm pretty sure this is the default recipe screen. So we're going to need a default recipe scroll. I have no idea how it requires power armor, but it does. Warped X02 chest plate. And I have one of those. And I was seeing what I could make with it. And then this popped up. So we're just going to need oak planks, gold ingot, diamond, and that chest plate. Which I should have everything. Let me just make sure I have a default recipe scroll. I do. Okay. I only have two of them. Yeah, this better be worth it. I only have two left, really. I thought I had more than that. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I have to go uh, do some... The last time I got a bunch was in a big mine shaft. A giant mine shaft. And I got a ton of them. So I'll have to try to find another one of those, maybe. Now I just have to find... Okay, warped XO2. And then we're going to need diamond, gold. I only need one of each. And the last item was wood. Have I really used all the extra wood? I guess we're going to use some of the strip wood. This should still make planks. Yeah, it does. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So two rows of spruce. Oh, and I think there's been another scrambling too since we've added the new stuff. So I should probably check a few recipes. Platinum Reaper. Maybe that's the same. Statue of Explosion. Explosive. Place it on the ground to give an unemployed villager the corresponding profession. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting distracted here. I need to make this defender. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's right there. Uh, icon of Sinwalt. No. It doesn't make anything scrambled. I wanted to see what it would make with the scrambled recipe. That's odd because if it makes it default, it should be what makes it or that should make a different item scrambled. I'm going to have to what? I just got gypped. I just got gypped. You know what? It's probably something that sh shares the same exact item ID as that. I was so excited, man. You've got to be kidding me. What am I doing wrong? Well, I'm calling baloney on that one. Cody, that is your fault. You just got me gypped and it's my birthday. And guess what? He logged off the server without saying anything. I thought he was going to at least come talk to me. Nope. Totally forgot. It's my birthday. This, 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 this is the stuff that I have to deal with, guys. You don't even understand. They have no respect. No respect. We just wasted our default recipe scroll for no reason. This has to work. This has to work. Oh, but whatever. At least we found these statue of explosives. Oh, my stupid sweet berries. And I want to test them out. So it says I just put them near a villager. I made a couple extras just in case it does something cool. Ah, uh, well, it definitely transformed you, bud. Now you are Gwen. Two diamonds equals an incendiary. Oh, incendiary C4, Bob. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Please, baby. Yes, please. Oh, this is this, this might even be better than what I was planning to do today. <laughs> you stay right here, Gwen. I want to test out these other ones. Do you think I can get the atomic bombs from these? Okay, I placed one in here, and there was a little baby, but he did not go for it. Oh, my gosh, Lawrence. You got... Oh, no, it's the C4 bomb again. Well, I'll test out these other two before I go get my diamonds. Oh, villagers. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm turning this peaceful little village into <laughs> a war factory town. We're going to rebuild the factory. These guys are all going to be explosive engineers selling me their new stuff. Rocket launchers, bombs, missiles... Whatever we can get them to fabricate. It seems like it's a pretty dead village, though. To be honest, there is not a lot of people in it. Come on, we gotta find a couple more. Oh, you all in here, are you? Julianne, come on. You know you want it? No? 
Okay, I think that's Lawrence over there. We're gonna, we're gonna get Julianne. Come on. You know you want to. D really? You can't just ditch me like that! James, what are you trying? Right, you're just a normal, normal trader. Come on, you want the roll, Julianne! Oh, you're a mother, aren't you? Marvin. Come on, Marvin. Don't you want to sell some bombs? What about you? What's your name? Demarcus! Yes, Demarcus! That's what I'm talking about. All right, they're all the, the C4 bombs. So let's go get ourselves some diamonds and kind of test out these C4 bombs. That, that sounds pretty fun, doesn't it? We got 65. I want to keep one of them. Uh, I could throw these in the dupe chest. Actually, don't I already have some dupes? No, I did the emeralds. Okay. I'm surprised they don't take emeralds since they're villagers. Uh, I didn't actually check the cost. Maybe they're all different. Julianne! I knew you'd come around. I knew you'd come around. We'll take some C4, please. What a deal indeed. Oh, that'll do nicely. I should save some of these because it's easier to dupe with a lot of diamonds than just a few. Uh, what should we go blow up? Oh, I know. Let's go blow up Cody's base since he was a jerk to me on my birthday. Why not? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> this is what he gets, man. I know he's been building that new building and he calls it the Atlantis Citadel. Yeah, I figured that out. He tweeted about it. That's what this is, is Atlantis Citadel. I should destroy it. I should destroy it. You know what? I'll just do his, I'll do his melon farm. Let's do 10 seconds. Okay, it says it's been planted. Dude, we're gonna explode his melons. Oh, baby. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't want to actually burn down his building. We should probably put out the fires. So they're, they're literally just going to spread flames. I thought it would be an explosion and then spread flames. But we'll, we'll let the stuff burn a little bit. Uh, unless fire spreads turned off. Cody likes to turn that off. Says fire can cause too much destruction. Okay. So I wonder, guys. Can I get every single type of C4 bomb? And it's just like random. Each day they might sell a different one. Because there's one called the Atomic C4 bomb. High explosive C4 bomb. We just got the, the one that, you know, spreads out the fire. There's also a smoke one. It's going to be a new day pretty soon. Let's go home, let's go to sleep, and then see if those guys are going to sell me anything different. Maybe make a few more of those uh, transformation uh, statues, too. I'm just going to make as many as I can, because I don't know if the recipes ever change. Whatever. I'm going to want some more of these. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty sweet. We got nine more of them. And let's just head over, check their trades, see if anything's different. Oh, 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 oh. Gwen. Still the same one with Gwen. You know, I kind of have my hopes up a little bit. Nobody's in there. Here we go. Julianne. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. They do change. That's all I needed to see. And she's having a sale. Oh, yeah. Mark down to six for the smoke grenades. We're not, we don't want smoke. Oh, baby. That means we could probably get the atomic bombs. What about you? Are you Lawrence? Uh, no, I want something better. I want the atomic bombs. The only one I don't know where is Demarcus. Yeah, you are. We found you. Okay. So I want to see what happens if I pick them up too. I've already picked one of them up. Can I reuse them? Okay, that one just disappeared. So they did lose it. Lawrence lost his. So what if I put another one down? Is that going to change your trades, Lawrence? I don't know if it did or not. Maybe we could just keep cycling through Lawrence here. It does change the price because I just went to four. So we might be on to something here. So I'm not really sure how to level these up. Um, if you notice that this one says explosive master and then novice. So that means he's a novice, I'm pretty sure. And then we come over here to the one that actually sells the uh, second tier uh, C4 bomb and it says explosive underscore master dash apprentice. So I think that's the next level up. 
If you guys know how to level them up faster, let me know. Otherwise, it might just take time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all these statues back out here. And new villagers can take them. Hopefully, eventually, one of them will become a true master that can sell me my Atomic C4. Because, uh, yeah, the Atomic stuff is pretty insane from that mod. We need it. We need it bad. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're just gonna let them uh, be for now and hopefully they'll eventually become a master and sell us some atomic bobs That's what I'm hoping for at least maybe we need to fix the factory in order for them to do that That being said uh, if you guys don't want to be jerks like Cody and cannibal comment down below hashtag Happy birthday Kraken and you can be the next fan of the day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next Bye